Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to some Barcelona news. And let's go straight to the point. Let's do just a short video. I want you guys to let me know. Just drop your comment. Do you guys think that Rafael Marquez is ready to coach Barcelona? Right, so the latest news says that Xavi will be having a meeting at some point, maybe after El Clasico, at some point next week with Laporta. Laporta wants to know if... Let me just quickly share my screen in here. So basically, Laporta wants to still convince Xavi to stay and wants to know that if Xavi has changed his mind or not, because Barcelona just needs to move forward. We need to start preparing next season. We've got nothing basically to play this season anymore. I cannot see us, you know, only a miracle would, you know, let us win La Liga. But I think with this news, and obviously with Barcelona, um, financial problem is not easy to get a top coach. There's not many top coach out there in today's football. Laporte is a big fan of the German school. Like, we've been talking about Leek and Tuchel. But my thoughts on this is that, is he ready? I would say that he's probably no. But time will tell. But look back what happened with... doesn't mean it's going to happen. I think Guardiola, that, there's only one Guardiola, there's only one Luis Enrique. But this guy has gone through Barcelona B first than the first team. Something that never happened with Xavi. And I said this a few times, that it was just a big move for Xavi. Xavi should have managed another European team before joy straight into Barcelona first team or even the big team. We saw Guardiola did, Luis Enrique did, and we see it now Rafa Marquez, right? And like I said, in terms of uh, Barcelona financial problems, I think Rafa Marquez would be the perfect replace for Xavi. Why? Because like, you know, we've seen, look at the job he's doing with Barcelona B. They are second, they're still fighting to get promoted as well. I don't think they will. I think Coruña is, I think, six points ahead now, but I think they'll be in there for the playoffs. And uh, who knows? They might, you know, do well in the playoffs and get promoted into uh, La Liga, se the second La Liga, in a way. And um, the way they play, I've watched a few games of Barcelona B this season, and I like his ideas. I like the way he encouraged all the young players and his style of football. Let's not forget Rafa Marquez played for Barcelona. He knows the club. This is something that Laporta really, you know, thinking about him to replace Chai because, yeah, he speaks Spanish. He knows the club very well and he has the Barcelona at the end. And we've seen, like, myself, the games that I've watched Barcelona be this season, the way he wants the team to play, I'm a fan. I like it. Uh, I'm a fan of big football. That's uh, um, good football, attractive football. That's why I support Barcelona. And I think that in the last few years, let's be clear, right? Not just with Xavi. Let's go back with Coleman and stuff. The football, Barca at the end. Barca is not just about winning games. It's also playing good football. And we haven't in the last few years. So, I mean, I think Rafa Marquez in the long term, would have been a good coach. But have we got the patience to wait anymore? We haven't won the Champions League. Now it's, it's becoming 10 years without winning the Champions League. And um, I know the financial problems hasn't helped us. You're not able to sign, you know, the players you want, top players. But we have a lot of talents in, in La Masia. We've seen this season players coming through like... Kubarzi, Yamal, Fermin Lopez and stuff. We've got lots of young players. We've got Hector Ford as well. There's a few in this Barcelona B that I've mentioned already in a few of my videos that I think they will be playing for the main team in a few years. I think Barcelona will be back. I think 
But I keep saying this, Barcelona will be back, Barcelona will be back, but we want the Barcelona now. We want at least, you know, being able to compete and being out there, reach a Champions League final, you know, winning two La Ligas in a row. We want to see this Barcelona back. We want to see us dominate Madrid again. We want this Barcelona. And uh, I uh, honestly, like Rafa Marquez in a long term, I would say, yeah. But for now, as you can see in here, look, basically, if Xavi ends up leaving, plan B would be active, you know, with Rafa Marquez being the favourite because that what I've mentioned. Speaking Spanish, not as the club, has a Barca and a Yen and stuff. Whatever, Laporta still has some dubs in his head about, because he knows that, you know, a coach, we need a coach with experience, right? And um, like Thomas Tuchel, Fleek, we're talking about the Zerbia. I don't think the Zerbia will come. I think there's other clubs who will be going for the Zerbia, like Liverpool and Bayer. I would like the Zerbia. If you t if you ask me, would you pick the Zerbia over Tuchel? Yeah, any time of the week. And Fleek, yeah, any time of the week. Because I love his style of football. His style of football, he has that Barcelona at the end. Same with Rafa Marquez, but his lack of experience may be a problem. Look, the problem we have with Xavi not being an experienced coach, we saw a lot of his decisions that you could tell that was lack of experience. But look, this is like it's like a gamble, even why it could work and it could not work. So it's actually for me it's actually hard, but would I be happy in one way I would and the other thing is that we don't know how much Barcelona will be able to afford to spend in a summer. We know our priority is a, a top DM. Uh, mainly the problems we had this season was not having that top DM because has a lot of problems sticking in there. Christensen, Oriol Romeo, Frankie de Jong and stuff. These guys might well be doing the job in some games, but when it comes to... Looking in Champions League, I believe that with a top DM, things would have been different. Like if Arouz wouldn't have been sent off, things would have been different. But look, in life, in football, there's no ifs and buts. Is is what it is. It happened, but let's see what Chavi is going to decide. Looks like even Chavi said already that there's not going to be meetings. If there's going to be meetings, there's meetings. But he hasn't changed his mind. He looks like he will leave at the end of, of the season. This could have been a gamble, could work and could not work, you know, again, a Rafael Marquez as a new manager. I like so far what he's been doing with Barca B. I do like it. He's still very young as a coach, like, but he knows the club and he has that Barcelona at the end. So I think he could work in the long term. If he's, he's ready or not, like I said, it's hard to say for the reasons that I've said already. So, yeah, look. Guys, that's just my thoughts. I will be, obviously, let's see once the season comes to an end. And then we will know, unless Xavi announced just before the season ends, we got seven games left to play in La Liga. So let's see what's going to happen in the end of the season. If Xavi actually leaves, then I will be bringing more videos about who should be Barcelona's new coach. Why? Basically what I've said in here as well. But obviously I'll... I barely talk about Flick or Tuchel. Not big fan of them. I would say Flick, yeah, I would take him over Thomas Tuchel for the reasons that I'll probably will be talking about in the next videos. But yeah, look, that's just my thoughts on this. That is one of the latest news um, about Barcelona. So yeah, let's see what's going to happen. But God, God bless you all. Thank you. Keep supporting the channel by smashing the like. New the channel, please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, but always drop you for us as well. Drop your comment. Let me know what is your thoughts about this. God bless you all. Visca Barca sempre.